chairman. Now, we are going to listen to the speech. We are going to read the speech out. And we would like each and every one of you to listen intently to this to the speech. This is a prepared speech. We are reading it outside. Yes. One house, one house, please. Sure. Come on okay. Okay. So yeah, yeah. So we are going to read it. So we are going to read it here. Yes. We are reading the statement, a prepared statement by all Yoruba people. That is you and me. This statement is from all Yoruba people. We are speaking directly to the Commonwealth Office behind me, and of course the UK government, and of course the Queen. Yeah, we say God save the Queen, but God save Yoruba nation. That's what we just. So that's what we want. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's listen on. So today, being Wednesday, October fourth, twenty twenty. No, no, no. Sorry, Friday, Friday, October fourth, twenty twenty one. Yoruba people of Nigeria on the brink of extermination. The world must not allow this for this to happen, but time is ticking. We are the Yoruba people self-determination campaigners, and we cannot hide the truth about what is going on in Nigeria. Since the advent of the Buhari government, Nigeria has been going through ethnic cleansing with Southwest One house! One house! One house! Right, okay. Since the advent of the Buhari government, Nigeria has been going through ethnic cleansing. Has been going through ethnic cleansing. Genocide. And southeast of the contraption being targeted by foreign war mercenaries. Yes. Who are being daily imported from across Francophone countries. Invasion of Yoruba land. land. And the systematic takeover of Yoruba land. Cattle raiders are being used to take over southwest lands in a clandestine plan to dislock the people. Tens and twenties of land have been taken over and villages and hamlets which hold various economic assets have been supplied. It is therefore a tragedy that the whole world is watching. The Western world media have been pretending as if all is well and African life does not matter. Why is the world treating Yoruba people with disdain? People are being mutilated, children are being butchered, women are being raped, and yet the world is pretending as if all is well in Nigeria. With thousands being eliminated each month in gun killing carried out by the mercenaries and Fulani headmen carrying AK-47, the government of President Buhari has never prosecuted any Fulani for the atrocities. Because Rather, he's the head of the Boko Haram. His security apparatus is being used yeah, yeah, yeah. to coerce, yeah, yeah, yeah. humiliate, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. intimidate, and subjugate those who are seeking for the self-determination so they can take their destiny into their hands. Individual self-determination campaigner, Sunday Goho, who has been appealing to the government to stop its wickedness towards the south people of the south, has had his home visited by over 300 military and security men, besieging his home and tearing the home into pieces with armored vehicles. This is the reality of what is happening in Nigeria. The worst is coming soon as a civil war is planned for the elimination of the Southwest people so that the Fulani can take over their land. We call on the world leaders not to allow the calamity to unfold as it would create a refugee problem never seen in the annals of the world history. We also call upon about 350 million Yoruba spread across the world to rise up and defend their ancestral land, as Yoruba land holds one of the most spiritual source of human race and should not be defiled. We call on Yoruba people in Africa and South America to stand up and defend, defend their ancestral source. If not, the Yorubas may not have a land in a few years' time. To come back the tragedy is coming and time is ticking. Buhari is determined to destroy Yoruba days of Nigeria through the conspiracy of some big and powerful nations using Buhari as a proxy Nigerian leader. This must not be allowed. Signed on behalf of the um, Yoruba World uh, Movement and uh, Yoruba Media World Movement. Yoruba World Media, self-determination campaigns, uh, Fatah Ibn Bido, General Secretary. Now, one thing I also want to add in all of this, please, I, 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 this is a message that we must all share around the world. Make sure you have it on all your platforms. Speak to your friends. Get them to listen to the words that we just spoke. 
they are the world spoken for and on behalf of every single Yoruba person on the planet. On the planet. I burn up. Now, one thing I want to say to you all, there is a history that you're not aware of, and I want you to be aware of it today. How many of you know about the place called Ihoeleru? How many of you? How many of you, you know? In okay. state. Now, it is in Ondo state. Thank you. Fantastic. It's a place where they found the skull of a 30-year-old Yoruba man. And they dated, carbon dated his skull to 13,000 years old. You have me right. 13,000 years old. Let me ask you a question. How many of you here have been taught about this in school? No. 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 Nobody. That is the history we need to hold on to. That is our history. That history is older than the 2000 year back the Bible and the Quran we're talking about. I want you to understand the significance. Your nation! Yes! No! You're no! Going no! No! And it's your bad 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 we are the source and we need to understand exactly the significance of who we are as a race, as Yoruba people. The time is now for us to rise up in our own land. We must be king. End of story. Yes. No foreigner. No. No foreigner. No foreigner. No, 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 no. Yes, sir. Let us tell them if they want to claim any ancestry, let them go back to Fujatalo. Yes. They must go back to Fujatalo. They must go back to what? Fujatalo. Go back to where? Fujatalo. That's where they come from. Yes. So we, your best, we stand firm. Yeah. They killed us strong enough. Our women raped. Mm. Our children killed. Yeah. Farmers killed. Everybody afraid to. Your Rubanda show. No.